Okay, today, <laughs> I'm really sorry guys. <laughs> I've been trying to rile these guys up, but they're not cooperating very well. Today is May 10th, 2011. This is a letter of eight F1B Labradoodle puppies out of our beloved Winston and our beautiful Sugar. Sugar is our AKC registered standard poodle. She's registered as brown. She has, because she is party factored, has actually faded out to a beautiful cafe a la. Um, the little girl right here that is uh, approaching me now is uh, the girl that we call Haley. Hello, Haley. Hello, Miss Haley. Yes. And uh, she's been very, very, uh, kind of uh, earlier she was growling, you know, just like the Haley that she's named after, right? Yes. These puppies actually have a, an American Idol theme. They were born April 15th, 2011. Um, although that is the official tax day, the official tax day this year, of course, was the 18th. Did not want to give them a tax theme. Sorry, that just wasn't going to happen. So we went with our American Idol theme, although I have unfortunately been not able to to see that program for the last couple of weeks due to other priorities and uh, anyway let me <laughs> somebody's having little dreams here this is Scotty you can see that Scotty has a beautiful beautiful definition to his coat very nice thick coat these are all chocolate puppies uh, we have four boys and four girls now this uh, video is actually for the benefit of all their families who are anticipating the day that they will be coming home. Oh, thanks, Haley. She just piddled. Um, because all of these puppies, hello, Mr. Scotty. Good morning. Good morning, Bubby. Look at his beautiful white abstract he's got on his chest. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Any abstracts that are on these puppies, of course, come from the party factor and their mommy. There's mommy. Hey. <laughs> okay, mommy's got an itch. All right, um, the, uh, hey, sugar, hey, sugar girl, hey, sugar girl, there she is, there's our sugar girl, yeah, there's our mommy, you can see her color, she is a brown, but she is a light brown, or cafe au lait, or what we like to call coffee with triple cream, okay, again, here's Scotty, here's Haley, they're the only two that we've got woke up, um, what I began to tell you is that all of these puppies are now spoken for, they are three and a half weeks old, um, but they have all been snaked up. We do anticipate another litter of F1B Labradoodle puppies. Uh, probably in about four to five weeks. I have to double check my records exactly what her due date is. I haven't put it on my website yes, yet. I just announced our upcoming Sheba Doodle litters, which are due in a couple of weeks. That's our first litter of Sheba Doodles with our beloved Yogi, our AKC Old English Sheepdog, and a beautiful black and white standard poodle AKC registered. Her name is Fanny or Fantasia. Uh, Fanny with a PH. And we used to have a Fanny. She was actually our first standard poodle. She was black. She has since gone on to be with, in her permanent retire home, retirement home. And uh, it was, so now we have Fanny 2. And Fanny 2 came to us from a friend of ours. And we may be having a couple of litters from her in the next year or so. And then she probably will be retired. Boy, is she an absolute sweetheart. Won't be able to go wrong with the... Uh, temperaments of the litter that uh, we expect from Yogi and Fanny. But you can check our website. I just did put a page up on them if you're curious about our Sheba Doodles. Keeping in mind, although they will be gentle giants and I believe laid back temperaments uh, based on the parents, they will be very big. But uh, Old English Sheepdogs are uh, non-shedding, um, allergy friendly, and so is the Poodle. So you can't go wrong in that area if you're looking for an allergy friendly dog to bring into your family that doesn't shed. And they will be big, fluffy, black and white and silver and white teddy bears. Okay, this girl right here with the purple collar, this is the one we call Pia. I love the way her hair lays on her on top of her ears, if you can see it. <laughs> I just got done with their still shots too, so you'll have updated still shots. Pia also has little white toes in the back. Let's see if you can see them. There's one right there. And she has a little bit of white on her chest, not as much as her brother Scotty. And I believe one of her other brothers has a little bit more definition on his chest as well. Okay, I believe this is the one we call Casey. He's got a little bit of a um, abstract on his chest as well. And I just changed their collars. He's got, you can see his little white toe that he's itching with right there. And he's got another little white toe right there. Don't worry, we don't have fleas, I promise you. Yeah, no fleas in here. 
And uh, there once again is Haley. She's fairly active. Here comes Mom to stir them up. Cl climbing on me right now is Scotty. He's our one with our green collar. And here comes Haley. She's got a little bit of a smoother coat. She's going to be more of your gentle fleece, wavy fleecy. These are second generation, little to no shed puppies. Um, here's a little bit of a curlier guy. This is the one that we um, call Stefano, I believe. The one with the orange collar. I hope I have this right because I don't have my notes in front of me. And with this being my first video, um, I'm a little bit vague on remembering their names. Okay, but I believe that is the one we call Stefano with the orange collar. And if I have it wrong, you'll be able to see them correct on the, um, uh, on the website, on their new still shots. And let's see. Right here we have James. And he has the light blue collar. And again, he's got nice definition. He's mad at me because I just woke him up. He doesn't have any markings that I can see at all. Not on his toes and not on his chest. He's going to be all chocolate. Uh, they may fade a little bit. Silver out, silver beige, or... Oh, look at this. Somebody's curled up in my lap. Yeah, this is Scotty. He's a sweetie. So cute. Yeah, so cute. Right there is Pia. She's our purple collared girl. And uh, again, she has the white toes. Mm. Yep, and there's Stefano. And here's Haley. All right, now let's see if we can wake up these two other little boogers here. This is our big girl. This is, I hope I pronounce it, Naima. I believe that's how they pronounce it. Naima. Or Ni Na yeah, I think that's how they pronounce it. I can't remember, and she's been off the show long enough that I've really forgotten, but I know it's not pronounced Naomi. It's Naima, I believe, is how they pronounce it. And uh, she has a beautiful, beautiful fleece to her with a lot of definition. Very thick coats on these puppies. You can see how nice they are. Um, we do have photos. If you go to our website, www.lawpdoodle, kennel, that's lawpdoodlekennel.com. Um, and visit our available puppies page and scroll down to Winston and Sugar's puppies. There are pictures there of their previous puppies from last year. And um, so you can see the types of coats that they developed. Each coat will generally be a little bit different in every litter. Just depends on how the genes fall. You can see that Haley has a little bit of a different coat than the rest of her siblings. It's a little bit smoother. But it will definitely develop a beautiful, gentle wave. She'll probably have kind of that scruffy dog look as she gets older. I don't see any wiry coats in this uh, litter at all. Come here, baby. I'm having a hard time stretching over. Okay, this is the one that we call uh, Lauren. Yes, this is Lauren with the pink collar. Okay, actually, actually I think she's one of the smallest ones. She also has a real nice definition to her coat, as you can see. And uh, like I said, these are, uh, you know, these are all spoken for, but our families are anxiously awaiting. Some can make it to be able to pick out their puppies, which will begin to, um, they'll begin to choose their puppies this weekend. We have a couple of appointments from people coming to see their puppies, and we allow that between the ages of three and four weeks, and the deadline for picks is four weeks, so it will be this weekend. And so for those that cannot visit us, we hope that the video um, can help them and we'll certainly be open to answering any questions on how that I've been observing the personalities. I've been over here playing with them uh, several times a day the last couple of days because they're hard to resist. <laughs> this is actually my favorite age. They're not yet making quite a mess. Mommy's still helping cleaning it up. So that kind of makes my job a little bit easy. <laughs> the hard part's coming. But more importantly, they're just starting to kind of wake up to the world and act like a little doggy. Yes. <laughs> Hello. That was Stefano that just kind of gave his little oh. vocal opinion. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you all a little bit of a treat. I just fixed up their bowl of food, and they just started eating solid food the last couple of days. Here, you can kind of see the difference in the definition of, see, this one here is Haley. And she's got quite an outgoing personality, to say the least. And right next to her is her brother, Casey. And you can see the difference in how they're marked. But again, don't let that discourage you. I don't see any type of wiry. This is a very, very soft, silky coat that she has. And what I've seen in the past is it's developed into a beautiful, gentle wave. And uh, it will be a gorgeous, gorgeous coat at maturity. They all will. I mean, they're just all individual. Oh, they love me. Look, they love me. There's Mr. Scotty. Here comes Haley. 
This is Stefano. And who's this person? One da- Here's this person. Yeah. Here's this, who's this puppy down here underneath? Oh, this is Pia. That's Miss Pia right there. Hello, BB. Yeah, that's Miss Pia. Here's James trying to get in with the bunch. Yeah. Gee, all just look at this. They just all want to cuddle up with me. I could just stay over here and sit with you guys all day long. There's Naima. And every time I hear her name, I just, I, I picture Steven Tyler. Naima! <laughs> or hear him. I guess I should say hear him. And picture it, hear him. Again, I haven't been able to view that silly show for a couple of weeks. I just haven't had time. Too many other priorities, but uh, I do keep up with what's going on. I always ask who has seen it or check on the website. Um, and again, here is our girl that we call Lauren. She's our pink collared girl. Yeah. So I hope that gave everybody kind of an introduction. Oh, Mr. Scotty. What a lover boy. Yes, what a lover. Oh, are you jealous, Mr. Stefano? Huh? Are you? Yes. Hello. Oh, boy, this is James trying to get in. Yeah, we know you can vocalize. Yes, we do. We know you can vocalize. Let's just hope you don't turn out to be a screamer. Like your namesake, huh? It's okay. I don't mind him doing it, but I don't like puppies screaming. What? What? Yep. And then this is Casey. Huh? That's Casey. It was really funny earlier. They were playing around, and I'm not kidding you. That one that I call Haley went growled, just like the Haley. Just like the Haley on the program. Yeah, she had a nice little growl to her voice. Huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. I hear you. Okay, let's give you you guys some food, because I want everybody, before I run out of, let me see my eyes. Okay, I've got a a couple minutes here, because they give me up to 15 minutes on YouTube. And I'm just about 12, so we don't have much. I'm going to reach for your food here. See if I can get everybody so you can kind of see them eat the first time. Okay, guys. Here we go. We're going to have to rouse up the ones over there that aren't paying attention. (sighs) Okay, and Miss Pia, come on, you don't want to miss a meal. Yeah, I know. But you're the one that really enjoyed it yesterday. Oh, yes. Uh-huh. See, look, Miss Pia. Yeah, she, she likes her food. I figured as soon as she got a whiff of it, she'd get in there. Oh, James over there. He's trying to eat Mommy's food. He wants to be a big man. Okay. So here we've got Lauren is eating. Pia is eating. Stefano is eating. And Casey is eating. Okay, how about Naima? Do you want some? Hmm? You want to try that? Who's this lady? Oh, come on, Haley. I know you. Oh, yeah, look at that. Mm hmm. Mr. James over there has to be different. <laughs> Silly boy. Come on, James. This is easier to chew over here. Mommy's moistened this up. No, you don't need to eat your sister's tail. Get over here. And, oops, sorry about that, buddy. Bad angle for me. Oh, yes, uh uh-huh. We discovered there's real food in there. Did you just get pushed out, Casey? Isn't that not very nice, is it? Uh, There you go. There's an opening for you. All right. There we go. There's eight little piggies for you. Once again, this is Law Padoodle Kennel, www.lawpdoodle, kennel, K-E-N-N-E-L, dot com. You can also contact us at 304-745-5878. We are located in Lost Creek, West Virginia. We are two hours south of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. We are also four hours south of Erie, Pennsylvania. Actually, just shy of it. I'd best say about three and a half hours because I just drove uh, to and from there the other day. And so our friends in Erie, if you would like to come down and see us, it's a straight shot down 79. It was a very easy trip. Um, We are two hours north, of course, of Charleston, West Virginia. And just four hours west of Washington, D.C., Baltimore. You just take 70 west to 68 and follow 68 to 79 south. And, of course, we're about three and a half miles off of 79 at exit 110 and uh, Lost Creek. So very, very easy to find us. We do live on a big, beautiful rural farm, Um, and uh, we welcome you to come and visit us. We thank you for viewing our puppies, and may God bless you.